Are you looking to have an Apple Notes look and feel to the way you navigate your notes in Obsidian? If so, then this is the plugin I think you need to check out. Now this plugin is not in the in the actual community yet, in their plugin community, but you can still install it using the Brat plugin. So if you go into your community plugins, and in order to install Brat, you see I already have it installed here. You just want to do a search for this, install it, and then once it's installed, you will need to configure it so that you get the plugin that you want to install. And that plugin is going to be the Notebook Navigator. So the Notebook Navigator here, we can see it's already installed, but I'm going to go ahead and add it in or at least go through the steps of how you can add it in if you've never used Brat before. So we can go ahead and add beta plugin. What you're going to need to do is go to GitHub and just search for Notebook Navigator. You should see the one here from Johansson. He's been doing a lot of updates to this thing, so I've been seeing a, a good number of iterations on this throughout the, the, the last few weeks that I've been using it. So if you have any issues, definitely go out here and post any issues you might have with it. And because this hasn't been vetted yet for the, uh, the third-party plugins in Obsidian, you do want to just make sure that you know this is something that you want to install. There is risk with installing any and all of these third-party plugins. So install at your own risk, but I'll go ahead and walk through how you do it here and then show you what the plugin can do. So you can just take the URL here. We'll go ahead and copy that. You would paste it here in the uh, URL section. You will want to select a particular version. Um, I select the latest version that way when new updates come out it will go ahead and do the uh, I can go ahead and update it fairly easy from, from from the brat application and then once you have it set up here you just do add plugin and it will add it in to the plugin area here your beta plugin list in the brat plugin here so from here you can uh, update it if you need to update the update it manually just come here and do this um, or you can do like I, I had it set up to just update um, automatically. Now that this is installed here, it, once it installs your plugin, you will get a new notebook navigator settings for your uh, this particular plugin. And there's a lot of different settings you can do for this plugin. So really, once you start using it, you can go through and kind of fill out which ones you need to enable or disable. Um, I mostly have all the default ones here. You will want to change, if you want to see the featured images, change this area here to be what you want um, as a property that contains the images that you want to use as featured images uh, within your list of notes. And the feature images show up here as these little icons on the side here. So if you have cover images or banner images, you can easily set that property up so they show up here. If I go to one, say for books, you can see that there's more of them here. Now this plugin does have a particular formatting that it wants to, to see for this image to work. So if you have some other plugins installed, even I, I've even seen that with the, the new basis uh, core plugin from Obsidian, some of the formatting is, a, is not um, say the same or compatible depending on what you're doing, whether you're doing a local uh, image that's within your vault or you're doing an image that is a URL. So this could conflict with other plugins that you have installed as far as what they want to have, how they want to have that link formatted. So just check that out. But this is what you, you get here. And one of the things I do love is the, the simplicity of the navigation here. You basically, you have all the same stuff that you would get within your uh, the default navigation and you can even come in here you can right click on there and it already supports uh, bases here where you can do a new basis you can do new drawing canvas some of the other plugins the navigation plugins don't even have all of this stuff in it so like if I was to come to the make.md plugin and I want to come here and do new we can see that it only supports the canvas, the note, and the fo new folder in here. So I do like the wide range of new object types that it can create within the vault here. And also you can come in here and you can change colors, you can change icons, you can rename stuff, do searches. You can, by default I think it's set up to where 
you'll only see the 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 notes within the actual folder itself not the subfolders but you can go into the settings and change that so you will again go into the settings change it to how you want it to to work based off what they offer and yeah I, I think this this look and feel is pretty nice another key thing that I really love about this um, this notebook navigator and how it has that Apple that Apple S type feel is that it offers the tags here at the bottom here so I don't have to have you know two different kind of widgets um, one at the top one at the bottom for tags and then another one for the folders and files it's all included in one and it also supports these tags to where it has parent child relationships too so I can easily drill down just like in with the bear application you can drill down into your your plugin your tag tree to get to what it is you want to get to and browse things this way so if you're a folder person you can easily navigate through the folder structure if you're a tag person you can easily navigate through your tag hierarchy and you get the best of both worlds in this particular case so i do like the plugin it has been working fairly well i put in a few issues with um, how certain things work and the developer was quick to resolve any problems that i had so i think that i'm going to start using much more often than the other plugins before i was using the this particular file tree plugin and it's worked fairly well but it's your typical folder structure at the top hierarchy with the files at the bottom I think this here is a nice replacement now you do get a, a lot wider base for the for the folders and tag portion of it here and then you have this um, your list of actual notes that you have in the folder but you can collapse that so if I come here and I collapse that you can do this but shrinking it this way here obviously you can't really navigate much here uh, just in within this folder uh, structure that you have already set up and if you want to kind of navigate to another folder then you will have to hit this and it somewhat kind of crunches things within this allotted size of window for you so you you will have to take up a little bit more space within your the way you have things set up on the uh, on the application as far as the window size of the application etc but I think it, it does offer a nice look and a, a lot of usefulness by having the the actual tag tree here that I can navigate through all right, so that's going to be it for this video. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.